do a reflow, you will need aluminum foil templates cut out to the size of the chip that you're going to reflow. You will need one of these heat guns. Ah, this was purchased at Harbor Freight for $14. It gets very hot. Hot enough to destroy things, so be careful. Use eye protection. I have glasses, I don't need any. And you're going to need one computer that you can do a reflow on. You need to get your motherboard out. That means removing heat sinks, cables, everything. You have to get this board out and you can't leave things on it. You also will need to remove any stickers that are near what's to be reflowed. On this board, the CPU is actually soldered to the board. That CPU is soldered to the board. We're gonna reflow that. We're probably not going to reflow anything else unless I find another chip on the board. So I'm gonna take the rest of this off. It's very important that when you do a reflow, you remove any of these plastic bits that are used to insulate. They will melt if you try to do the reflow with them attached. You need to remove these plastic covers or stickers and then replace them when you're done. In fact, uh, it may be easier to remove them with the heat gun, but I'm just going to remove them manually. This chip, let's get the RAM out of the way. I don't need to remove this because the heat shouldn't make it this far. This chip is a very wide chip and I have a template that I've cut deeper so I can do these wider chips a little more easily. Put your template down around the chip. Get your heat gun and you'll need this infrared thermometer to do it right. 76 degrees Fahrenheit and heat it. Ah, plug in your heat gun first. If you have extra foil, go ahead and set your board on top of it so that it doesn't damage the surface beneath. Set your template and go for it. This is a new gun so it gets hot very quickly and it won't take very long. Hold it two or three inches from the surface. This is heating too quickly. This new gun is way too hot. I'll use it at the lower temperature. You're trying to reach 360 degrees Fahrenheit or close to that. On the lower setting we can put a little closer here. The chip needs to be heated evenly. You can't get a completely accurate reading of the temperature until the heat gun is gone because of the heat coming off of it. So keep that in mind. It also starts to cool very quickly. My 
patience has run out. Alright, that was probably at temperature. Let's check it. There we go, it was just a hair above 360 in some spots. Yep, some spots are still around 360 and it's cooling quickly. Now, the trick is you don't want to try and rush it. You don't want to jar it, let it cool. That's how you do a reflow. You can go ahead after about 10 seconds and remove your mask for faster cooling. That sticker got melted a little bit, but it doesn't really matter and we just let it cool off. Then we'll put everything back together. Installation is the reverse of removal. And that's it. Our reflowed laptop is working. The time may not be quite right. I had to take the battery out, but it works. Reflows fix things. And you know what? If it doesn't fix it, it's probably dead anyway. Hope this helps.